Welcome back to Tom Padula TV and uh, to the second series of Italian communities and clubs with Tom Padula, of course. This is segment three of program two and uh, there's quite a lot of variety. Enjoy it. Well, as we were saying, Leonardo, we we're in June 1981. What happened then? 1981, the Lucania community decided to form, to form one association because but the, the associations existed at the time. They were, they were running. They were properly. the Paisani clubs. Yeah, the they? Paisani clubs. They Which were, were they? Montemor? Oh, no, going. Okay. okay. So we, the one that decided to participate at that time, there was uh, Società Valdagri, which was supposed to be what uh, the original. That's another story. I'll tell you later. Anyway, Società Valdagri. There was Vigiano Social Club. There was Montemuro Social Club, there was Calvello Social Club, and Paterno Social Club. Grumento, no? No, Grumento is part of that. Società Valdare was Grumento. It was Grumento, okay, okay. Yeah, I understand. So, but there was not only Grumento, but all the Valdare. La Valdare is Sarconi. So, and decide. We must admit that at that, at that point, we decide we, to form a committee to make a, a new constitution, the constitution of the club. Of Federazione Lucana. Fantastic. At uh, the constitution stage, in other words, the early days when all the ideas come together and they're discussed and then uh, to form unity. So how long did the, this constitution take? Well, the, the assembly to, to, decided yeah. to give three months time, three months, so that the constitution could be uh, uh, written, up. Uh, written, that's the word. And so, so we went ahead and we met every, like we used to do, every uh, fourth night, uh, the committee, the provisional committee that was uh, existed there. Uh, that existed provisional the, committee? Yeah. Provisional. So who was the president of that committee? At the time, we're up to the, uh, in actual fact, no, what on, I think I'm wrong. No, in actual fact, we elected even the, yeah, that, that's it. The provisional committee was run by, we had as President Prospero Papaleo. Uh -huh. Then there was Angerami, uh, oh, Ernesto Angerami. Ernest Angerami. Angerami. And they were they were acted as uh, the um, the nego, nego, uh, negotiators negotiator the one that they start and then there was uh, two representatives of each club existing okay. club so that they worked on and they, uh, tell me something yeah. were there other other um, clubs formed from other uh, towns in Paesi de la Lucania no. or was that the, that's what the only ones they were the only ones that exist at the time. Welcome to Tom Padula TV, here from Porto di Merola in the September evening of the 7th of September 2018. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to continue my readings of uh, the poems about Montemurro and this one here I dedicate to Leonardo Sinisgalli, a very famous uh, man locally and in Europe. Uh, it's worthwhile reading in your libraries there in Australia and across the world. Ecco a voi, signore e signori, a Leonardo Sinisgalli, che ho scritto una poesia l'ultima volta che sono venuto nel 2003, quando ho comprato la libreria sua, uh, Giuseppe De Bellis mi filmò quando la scrivevo. Ne ho scritto un'altra questa volta. Non vi leggo l'altra perché non ce l'ho qui, però questa volta a Leonardo Sinisgalli. Eccomi qua un'altra volta davanti alla tua macchina da scrivere. L'ultima volta che mi sono seduto qui, molti anni fa, tu non avevi ancora preso quel volo del nibbio come grande letterato ed ingegnere. Oggi hai qui una tua casa delle muse e finalmente Montemurro ti onora ed accoglie chi apprezza le tante cose che hai fatto nella tua vita. Va bene. Lo so, qualcuno può dire, ma Sinisgalli cosa ha fatto per il paese? Ma la mia risposta è semplice, tanto, perché tu hai lavorato, Leonardo, dove sei stato, però sei sempre rimasto attaccato alle radici, non hai mai dimenticato Montemurro ed adesso tanti come me vengono per ricordare con che chi non abita più qua e sempre rimane Montemurese con orgoglio. Però la tua visione era ed è globale, anche se sei rimasto paesano. E questo dobbiamo apprezzare e condividere. 
il tuo bel esempio resta e mi auguro che molti altri verranno a seguire questi tuoi passi da gigante. Questo è il mio saluto che ti porto da Melbourne, Australia. Come vedi, caro Leonardo Sinisgalli, il tuo volo del nibbio va lontano. Well, this is the end of uh, program two of uh, the current series. Don't forget TompadulaTV.com for your YouTube experience and TompadulaTV.com for everything else. Ciao, see you next time.